Combining the topics of small caps and numeral styles is fractions. As with small caps, fractions can be pre-drawn in the font or faked by Illustrator using scaling. This example from the Fractions Examples AI file demonstrates both methods. At the top, we have Adobe Caslon Pro, which includes the OpenType fraction features needed to render fractions whose components, the 3, the 4, the slash, fit with the rest of the text by carrying consonant stroke weights. Next is Times New Roman, which, though also an OpenType font with an impressive selection of glyphs, doesn't include those glyphs needed to properly build agreeable fractions. Just look at them. They're twiggy, undernourished. I have an urge to give those fractions a sandwich. Just like faux small caps, the Times New Roman fractions in the middle are merely scaled down numbers with scaled down stroke weights. The ones on the bottom look better, healthier. Unfortunately, while three quarters and one half are well fed, they didn't leave enough for five nights to eat. This line uses the pre-designed basic fractions that are incorporated into many fonts. Times New Roman includes such pre-built single glyph fractions for one quarter, one half, and three fourths. If you need a fraction other than those three, you have to fake it, which looks twice as bad if viewed with the pre-built ones. Let's go to Artboard 2 in Fractions Examples. Here, I've given you a selection of fractions to work with in Times New Roman. The after set is below. We're going to recreate the after in the before line above. First, the easy way. Highlight the one quarter and open the glyphs panel from Window, Type, Glyphs. It might take a little hunting, but you should find the one quarter glyph. It's a single glyph drawn to fit with surrounding text. Just double click it to replace the original one slash four with the singular one fourth glyph. Do the same for the half fraction as well. Those look good, don't they? You'll find those in many fonts. What you also might find in other fonts, but you won't in Times New Roman, is the one third. We'll have to fake it. The three is a whole number. We're making three and one third, so leave that alone and highlight the one. In case, like me, you've forgotten just a few things from elementary school, the number to the left of the slash, which is also the top of the fraction, is called the numerator. The number to the right, the bottom of the fraction, is the denominator. If you're curious, the slash between the numerator and denominator is called the virgul, or fractional solidus, and is another casualty of the typewriter. Note how the virgul and the fractions differ in angle and weight from the slash in the other sets. With the one selected, go to the character panel and click the superscript button. This is how you make superscript or superior numbers for any font, but it's also how you fake numerators for fonts without pre-drawn numerators. The position of the numerator is a little off, but let's wait to fix anything until we can get a full picture of the fraction, including its denominator. That's the three, so highlight it and select subscript. Now let's turn that superscript and subscript into a fraction. Use negative kerning and baseline shift to nudge the numerator and denominator individually into place to look like a fraction. For what it is, that looks good. Again, if you have to fake a fraction, don't put it on the same page as a real fraction in the same typeface. Instead, fake them all. They'll all look bad, but the consistency will keep them from looking horrendous. Now pause the video and do the 1 and 5 eighths fractions the same way. You can check your progress against mine using the after line below. Ready to move on? Let's go to Artboard 3 Caslon and go beyond faux fractions to genuine fractions. Here too, there's the before line you should work with, as well as an after line for progress checking and dissection if you get lost. Because Adobe Caslon Pro has a full set of numeral styles, including those designed specifically as numerators and denominators, creating fractions is a breeze. Highlight the one quarter and, on the open type panel, click the fractions button. Boom! Instant fraction, and not just a dumb singular glyph fraction like Times New Roman. This fraction is still three separate glyphs. It can be copied and pasted into a program that doesn't do variant glyphs, like Microsoft Excel here, and it pastes as one slash four. That's because that's what it still is in Illustrator. All that Illustrator did was reset the one with a style specifically designed as a numerator, 
reset the 4 with a denominator variant, and replace the slash with a virgul. You can even see the numerator and denominator numbers in the glyphs panel. There they are, a full set of each from 0 to 9. Do the half the same way. Now for the Hogwarts Express platform number, if you select all four glyphs, including the 9, and click the Fractions button like so, you'll get 93 fourths, which you don't want. So undo that, and just select the 3 slash 4. Now select the next set and click the Fractions button. It works too. Were you surprised by that? Many are. Some people don't realize that Illustrator is smart enough to make just about any consecutive numbers on either side of the slash into a fraction. They think it only works with one or two digits. If you do run into a situation where Illustrator doesn't properly format the numerator or denominator, you can manually do it, which is what we'll do on the 5 621sts. Select just the 5 and pause for a moment. Illustrator will pop up its handy context sensitive alternate glyph picker. The high 5 there in the pop up? Click it, and the full sized 5 gets replaced with a numerator 5. Selecting the 621 doesn't give a pop-up because the pop-up only appears for single glyph selection. For this, go to the Open Type panel again and open the Position drop-down menu. From here, you can choose all the numeral forms not included in the Figure menu above, including, at the end, Denominator. Click that, and you have a denominator. We still have a slash instead of a virgul, which is not cool, so don't use the manual method we just went through to create entire fractions. Instead, use the Fractions button to start the fraction, then use the numerator or denominator position commands to fix digits that didn't fit in the fraction. Note that the version in the after line at the bottom is intentionally wrong to show the result of manually choosing numerator and denominator.